Welcome, I'm Phil MSS Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 and today I'll show you how to record the screen on this phone. So, to get started, all you need to do is pull down the notification panel and find the screen recording toggle, which for me is on the second page right over here. And once you find it, you can either tap on it to immediately start recording or you can hold it, go into the settings right here and change a couple of them to suit your needs. So. We have things like resolution, vid, uh, video bitrate, uh, orientation, so sounds, uh, frame rates, and stuff like that. So going quickly over those. Uh, resolution, uh, honestly, just keep it at 1080p. Uh, don't even consider the existence of the two below ones. Uh, bitrate, um, the higher the bitrate uh, you pick, the better the video will look like, uh, but also the more space it will take. So uh, keep that in mind. 16 uh, here looks to be the middle one. Uh, it will also be, I would say, a fairly okay-ish one. It's not gonna be, uh, you know, super crisp or anything, but uh, it also won't look like it's pixelated mess. Uh, if you want, you can drop it, or not drop it, but like higher it to uh, 24, 32 if you want to. Anything above that I think might be a little bit excessive and it just wouldn't really be beneficial. Then below that, well, as you've seen, there's the orientation. So just the orientation of the phone. Uh, auto, in my opinion, is the best one because it will just define how you're holding the device and record in that way. So if you flip it over, it will automatically detect it and start recording it in a different orientation. Then we have sound uh, source, um, so we have a mute, mic, or sound system, um, or system sound, and the other way around. Uh, unfortunately, there is no uh, both options, so if you want to record a microphone and your uh, whatever the phone is making uh, noise, you can, so you'll have to pick and choose. Um, so, yeah, select whichever one you want. And then below that, we have the frame rate, so it looks to be uh, default 24, crank it up to 30, um, at 6 frames might not be much, but still it will be a little bit better than 24. Uh, unfortunately there is no 60, so that's a little bit of a shame, uh, makes it look a little bit outdated, but it is what it is. And honestly that's basically all the most important options. Uh, another one that I would also mention is the uh, what is it? show touch gestures. So whenever you tap on the screen, uh, do anything, so like me scrolling up and down, uh, it will create a grayish dot, uh, semi-transparent one, just to show on the recording uh, where someone was pressing the screen. So uh, if that is something that you want, uh, then you can enable it. It will be okay in some kind of uh, instructional recordings, uh, but in gameplays it might not be uh, too good in my opinion. So from there, once you have uh, set it all up, you can quit this and go back to the toggle itself and tap on it and this will immediately start recording as you can see. So whatever I will do right now will be recorded by the phone with an exception of couple apps. So if I were open, if I would open up uh, Netflix, uh, it actually wouldn't record it. So just putting that out there. There's a couple apps that you just can't record. Uh, Android has this uh, stupid thing where there are certain apps that have basically the permission to define what you can do with the device and what you can't in a way so as an example there is some apps that uh, you probably are already aware when you try to capture a screenshot it just kind of will tell you nah you can't do it uh, same goes for recording um, although for recording it will just create a black uh, recording where it's just a completely black screen and nothing on it and that goes for Netflix and basically every streaming platform. Um, so yeah, and now that we have actually stopped the recording, uh, we can find that recording in our photo gallery, or as it's called here, just gallery. Uh, let me just go back. There we go. So from here, um, you should see this page like well, this one exactly here. Uh, so what you want to do is go to the albums and videos and voila, there is our recording. So let's just play it allow and as you can see it's now playing so that's basically all it does and where you can find the recording so not much more to show so if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching